What is up, everyone? This is Hog to TV. Hope this video finds you well. Hope you guys are having a great and glorious day. I wanted to answer a few questions that I have got uh, in the past about uh, on my second channel, and I never actually got to touch base with that. Um, which setup do you recommend whenever you're playing any game, whether it be Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield? This is going to be the setup. Um, you're first off, um, over the course of, you know, I used to work in IT and stuff back in the day, and um, the best, the best for most people who have cable, which most people nowadays have cable and no, no longer use DSL, um, they, I recommend personally the area surfboard. I'm going to put a picture up so you can see what that looks like. Um, now, this is one that I have personally used. Uh, it's an amazing modem. The one that you're supplied with from the generic cable company, uh, they're usually pretty cheap, uh, to say the, the least. And always call and make sure that you can purchase and use your own modem and that they would set it up before you make any purchases for a modem. Uh, that's really, you got to be really on gear with that. And double check that. So... With that being said, um, that's the modem that I've used, and that's the modem that I recommend. Now let's move on to a higher-end router. Now the higher-end router, um, without having all this extra whatever, I mean, I've used this router personally. Um, it's the one I currently use. Uh, it's a great router. Um, I've used it for the last couple of years. I've not had any problem with this router. Uh, it's the Asus Wireless AC3100. Uh, now, out straight out of the box, it's open NATs. Uh, it's streamless, flawless. I can have two or three different HD streams going on in a video game, and they don't even interfere with each other. Uh, great router. Um, you don't need the hard drive with it unless you want to have a storage. It has all your storage connectivity, if that's what you like. But... So far, I've never even used that feature. I just love it that it's so fast and it streams everything that I want. Um, you know, and if you can afford it and you got the cheddar, that's the one that I would go with. And let's go down to an economy gaming router. Now, if you're kind of strapped for cash and, you know, you want good service, you know, out of your modem, uh, the next best one if I was on a real strict budget, would be the RTA 66. Uh, let me let me say that one more time. And I've used this one too, uh, the RTA C66U. Uh, now this is a dual band AC 1750 gigabit router. Now it works really well. Uh, the range on it's not going to be as good as far as the wireless signal range. Um, it will work if you're in a small apartment. Uh, something along those lines. The other one's going to work better in a larger home. Or if you want to maximize your file sharing or you know, your network connectivity inside your infrastructure of your home. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are the two routers um, that I recommend. If you're going to make a purchase and you do a lot of HD streaming, you do gaming, all of this at the same time. Uh, now that's contingent on if you have the appropriate bandwidth from your ISP, your internet provider, and you want to make sure that you get this, you know, the ASUS routers. I mean, they've been phenomenal, uh, great solid routers, no problems, uh, and you want to make sure that you get the surfboard Aris modem. Um, now, these are the personal ones that I have used with no issues work great out of the box great customer service if you ever have any issues at all um, no problems with them uh, I hope this helps you guys uh, that are looking for the open nets um, have parental controls uh, you know it, they're great they are great they're ahead of their time but I hope this guys helps you out in your selection and hit that like hit the share button and I hope to see you guys again till next time this has been Hog TV.